Hi everyone, this is CVGS, I'm Dempster and today I'm going to bring you through another nostalgic trip to the latest collaboration set for Battle Spirits with Digimon. This is SD45. Uh, the name for this is Digimon The Chosen Ones or the Digidestines uh, in, in American context. Digimon. Anyway, sorry about that. Wow. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. So this is the latest uh, set um, for Battle Spirits, uh, it is also the second, the second collaboration um, series with Digimon and Battle Spirits, as well as the first um, collaboration boost uh, start deck for Digimon. So uh, we'll just take a look at the, the the aesthetics of this box. First of all, the front, as you can see, Omega Mon is in here, or in a in English speaking audience, this is Omnimon. Uh, there will be a card for him in there, as well as. The BS Club at the front, and one of the cards that will be featured in this, which is uh, Omega Mon Merciful Mode. All right, and at the back, uh, at the back, there is nothing much. It's just basically um, everything you need to know about Mo Omega Mon Merciful Mode, as well as some uh, some day some information that you don't really need to know. Choking hazards because there are cores in here. Yes, there will be cores included in this, as well as. Uh, as well as the 40 card play mat, 6 uh, campaign cards for you to swap out in and out with 1 play mat and like I mentioned, 15 calls and 1 soul call So at the side, from here we can see um, the card list uh, There will be a total of 1 X rare, 1 master rare, 1 rare, 13 commons and 6 campaign cards And it's targeted for ages 9 and up, so we are totally within the age range So without further ado, WarGreymon and MetaGreymon is going to help me blast this open Do your job guys Gaia Force! Shoo shoo, boot missile! Boop, 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 boop. I feel like a kid, what the hell? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> right, fine, let's open this thing. So, <laughs> Tomini. <laughs> Alright, so opening the set, the first thing we'll see is the play map. We'll just take a quick look at it. Uh, it's the usual paper play map, but instead we've got Omega Mon Merciful Mode at the front. Woo, it's so beautiful. Uh, but everything else is basic um, Battle Spirit stuff, so that's about it. At the back is how you play this deck. Um, your finishing combos as well as um, how to play. Yes, how to play Battle Spirits with Digimon. <laughs> so we'll go through. We we'll probably won't go through that. Whatever. All right, and then the cores. Uh, like I said, there are fifteen cores with one soul core. And as per as per previous uh, collaboration start deck with Kamen Rider. I'm going to shock the heck out of Leon by tearing this open. <laughs> Metal Grey Mod is equally shocked. Alright. Okay, so these will be the swap out cards that we may or may not go through. Uh, so we'll just put this one side. Okay, I've already talked about the cost. And last but not least, the deck itself. It's no longer packed like secrets like a long time ago. But we'll go through. Double symbol of basket. We'll go through um, the deck itself, uh, see what are the key cards that we have in store for this for you. So let's go. The wheels keep breaking off. The deck. <laughs> oh man, it's over. Okay. All right, so we've broken down the deck as it is, and uh, apparently this is not the the start deck called the Digi Destins. This is the Tai Chi Yamato deck because every single thing here is red and purple. It's basically Agumon and Gabumon together, but. In any case, this is what we have. Um, obviously, you know, if you want to see the, the translations for all these cards in English after this video, you can head over to World of Cards over here. Links in the description below, so you can find out that as well as um, as well as the other things like the Digimon booster that is also released. So the first thing that we're gonna see here, all right, this is the X-ray for this uh, for this set. This is Omega Mon Merciful Mode. It's got two symbols. Holy hell! All right, it's a Radiant Descent card, cost seven and above during either player's attack step. Blah 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 blah. Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> Level one, two, three. When this spirit descends, destroy any opposing spirit or ultimates uh, up to a total of fifteen thousand BP. In addition, uh, add, uh, you can add as any amount of cards from your hand or trash with the family, uh, with the family name Mega Spirit Cards to the bottom of uh, this card as a as a base. <clears throat> Level two and three. Flash when this spirit attacks. By discarding one, by discarding one base from this spirit, refresh this spirit. Wow. Okay, it's certainly not as destructive as the original Omega Mon, 
but it is certainly very annoying with the double symbol. It's anything but merciful, honestly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the next one we have the, the more tame version. This is Omega Mon 2! Why 2? Because you can play this as well as the original Omega Mon. I don't know why you do that. Well, probably you will. But anyway, uh, <laughs> alright, the Radiant Descent condition as compared to the original one is a, a lot more lenient. This one's uh, condition is just Mega during either player's attack step. So level 1, 2, 3, when this spirit descends, uh, you can place this uh, the so-called from the trash to this spirit. If you do that, add one spirit card from your trash to your hand. Wow. Level 2 and 3, flash when this spirit attacks. Uh, by discarding one base card from this spirit, uh, destroy one opposing spirit or ultimate with 12k BP or lower. So again, the original Omega Mon is uh, destructive because it targets your life directly, but the setup is very specific and it's a double X-ray. But uh, it's very hard to get as well. So with this Omega Mon, you may not be able to do as much destruction as the original, but you certainly can pull off a lot of chaos with these two together. Alright, the next card is the card that always dies for some odd reason. This is Leo Mon 2! <laughs> How do you stop the 2? Alright, uh, Leo Mon 2, uh, it's got a burst when your life is reduced. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, destroy one opposing spirit that's well, with BP 8000 and below. Uh, if, after this effect resolves, summon this spirit card without paying the cost. Level 2 and 3, Choshinka, Super Evolution, Red and Purple. So by returning this card to your hand, summon uh, uh, a spirit card that is purple or red from your hand with the family name um, Adult or Ultimate from your hand without paying the cost. Level 3, <laughs> When this spirit is destroyed by your opponent, <laughs> destroy one opposing spirit, 10k BP and below. It's funny to know that, you know, uh, it, it's it's funny that Bandai is very self-aware about Leomon always dying in the show, so they give him an on-destruction effect, especially by your opponent. You know, uh, fun fact, he always sacrifices himself for others. That's yes. why when he is destroyed, he does something for others. Yeah, one must die for the rest to survive. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. The next card we have here, this is the, the go-to Digimon where everyone, uh, whenever someone mentions Digimon. This is Agumon 2. The art is very interesting too because it's got itself as well as all the other rookie Digimons fighting Kuwagamon. It's a good throwback to the original um, first episode, of, yes. oh no, first or second episode of Digimon Adventure. Second. Second, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> so anyway, uh, level 1, 2, 3, Flash, when this spirit attacks, if your life is 3 or lower, uh, by re returning this spirit from to, uh, back to your hand, you can summon a War Grey Mon from your hand without paying the cost. Wap Shinka! Oh, this is amazing. Oh, no more reading this head. Okay, level 2 and 3, uh, Shinka, red and purple. Uh, at the start of your attack stat. So by returning this spirit card to your hand, uh, summon a red or purple spirit from your hand with the family name, adult or champion uh, without paying the cost. Okay. That, that was anything but episode 2. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was totally not episode. This is like episode 2 to 50 plus. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's go check out his big brother, Greymon 2. Greymon 2's skill is uh, level 1 and 2 when this spirit uh, uh, is summoned. Uh, by destroying one of uh, one of your opponent's uh, nexus, draw one from your deck. Mm, not bad. Level 1 and 2, uh, Choshin, Gar, Red and Purple, so it's basically the same thing. Uh, summon uh, ultimate by bouncing this uh, to your hand without paying the cost. Red and Purple. Okay, so the next thing is the Choshinka, the big big brother, Metal Greymon 2. Pew pew. Cannot see. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Alright, level 1, 2, 3. When this spirit is summoned, destroy two opposing spirits with BP 6k or lower. Level 2 and 3, flash when this spirit attacks. Uh, by reducing by returning this spirit card from your uh, to your hand, uh, summon a war greymon. Uh, summon any amount of war Okay, hold on, let me check. Okay, choose a War Greymon spirit card and a Battle Garomon cost 7 or lower spirit card from your hand, one each, and summon any amount without paying the cost. So basically, by bouncing Mental Greymon, you can totally summon. You can, totally, you can, you can summon a War Greymon and Mental Garomon out on the field. But flash timing still stays, so if they destroy War Greymon, got Mental Garomon, then GG. <laughs> Alright, and speaking of War Greymon, here it is. Okay, this is War Greymon 2. What are you doing? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> alright, Wall Game 1 2. So its skill is level 1, 2, 3 when this spirit is summoned or when it attacks. Uh, destroy one, you can destroy one opposing spirit with uh, BP 8k or lower. Um, if you destroy a spirit with this effect, refresh this spirit. Oh, not bad. Uh, level 2 and 3, during your own attack step, this all of your spirits cannot be returned to the field, uh, from the field to your hand or deck by your opponent's effects. Wow. 
This sounds like a very familiar card. Uh. It's like one of those Astro Dragons. Jeez, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder it's a dragon too. Alright, the next card that we have here, we're moving on to the Yamato line already. <laughs> Yamato line. It sounds like it's like a train <laughs> service. <laughs> next stop, Gabumon 2. <laughs> Alright, level 1, 2, 3 flash when this spirit attacks. If you have 3 or less uh, life, if your life is 3 or less, uh, by re returning this card from your hand, same thing, summon a Metal Garurumon from your hand without paying the cost. Level 2 and 3, Shinka, red and purple. Uh, same thing as the start of your attack step, bounce this back and summon a Adult, red or purple without paying the cost from your hand. Nothing, there really, really nothing much to say because this is a very basic card. Uh, it's the same as Agumon 2, it helps you, it helps you push out Metal Garurumon uh, very, very quickly. If your life is in danger. <laughs> Alright, the next card we have here is Garurumon 2. It's Big Brother. Level 1 and 2, when this spirit attacks, send one call from your opponent's spirit to the reserve. Uh, if the spirit is depleted by this effect, uh, add, one call uh, add one card from the trash to your hand. A uh, spirit card from the trash to your hand. Then level 2, Cho Shinka, uh, red and purple. Same thing, bounce back and summon an ultimate red or purple without paying the cost. And the Big Big Brother, <laughs> the Awu. Wagarurumon. Yeah, it's a werewolf. Wagarurumon 2. <laughs> Level 1, 2, 3. When this spirit is summoned, draw 1. <laughs> Legit, draw 1. <laughs> Alright, level 2 and 3 flash when this spirit attacks. By returning this spirit card from your hand, uh, summon 1 Metal Garurumon uh, and a cost 7 or below War Grey Mon from your hand, 1 each, without paying the cost. Any number. So, 1 of each. You can summon these 2 together. As you, It's similar uh, similar to Metal, Metal Grey Mon. So, before we... Yeah, okay, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> what am I doing? The uh, last one that we have here, the last Digimon, the uh, last spirit, is Metal Garurumon 2. So, level 1, 2, 3, when this spirit is summoned or when it attacks, send 2 cards from your opponent's spirit to the reserve. So, it can be 2 on 1 spirit or 1 on 2 spirits. It's up to you. Level 2 and 3, when your own spirit is de depleted by your opponent's effects. Right? No. When your own spirit's effect is depletes your opponent's spirit, draw 1 from your deck. Oh, it's actually not bad. It's very tame in comparison to the Garurumon. The super, Garurumon. yeah, super tame. Because the, the original one is a cost 8 or cost 9, right? Cost 9. Cost 9, yeah. Really yeah, it, it, it helps because uh, of Omega Mon. But this one is a lot more tamer. It's easier to bring out too. So yeah. the balance has to be there. Uh, but I do have to wonder because there isn't a lot of core removal. So whether you're able to do this, you whether you're able to play this full deck as itself or whether you are uh, you can use the, just the, the, Gab uh, the Gabumon line and make a full purple deck. Uh, I'm not too sure. It's entirely up to you how you want to play, uh, mix and match. But I see this deck, okay lah. It's pretty good as it is. But well, we're going to that later. Yes. Magic. Yes. Magic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next part we have here are the Nexus and Magic. This one is the Crest of Bravery. The Crest of Courage, actually. So uh, level one, two. Do your opponent's attack step. When your opponent reduces your life, destroy one opposing spirit five k BP or lower. Level two. During your own draw step. Uh, draw an additional card. After you draw, discard one card. Then, uh, if you have a Grey Mon Spirit on the field, minus one of that discard. Uh, and this this uh, effect cannot be duplicated. So basically, it's like a bit of mantra draw. At the start of your draw step, you draw two. If you have a Grey Mon, you don't drop anything. Which is pretty cool actually, because it helps with all the drawing to get what you need. Especially the next one. This is the Crest of Friendship. Friendship. Yes, friendship. Friendship is the best thing ever. <laughs> Alright, level 1 and 2. During your own attack step, all of the spirits with the family name, adult, uh, child, adult, and uh, uh, perfect. Or no. Um, what is that again? Rookie, ultimate, uh, rookie, ultimate, and. Sorry. Rookie, champion, ultimate. Get plus 3 KPP. Level 2. Uh, when one of your spirits with the family name, ultimate, or mega is destroyed, by discarding one card from your hand, the destroyed spirit stays on the field in exhausted position. Oh, well, the power of friendship is strong here, man. No wonder these two can go together. United we stand. Yes, and, but divided we fall. Yes. <laughs> Alright, the next card, this is the standard Zeko Hyojun or Burst Wall. Well, when you're, it's a burst when your life is reduced, add one call from the void to your life. Then after that, by paying the cost, activate its flash, which is, at the end of the battle, end the attack stat. Use Agumon's face to block. <laughs> this is a 15 year old toy, or more than that, okay? Don't break it. If it falls apart, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm making you buy the, the new one. <laughs> Alright, the next time we have uh, this is Tai Chi. Okay, his name is Evolution Draw. Ooh. Uh, main step draw two cards from your deck. In addition, if you, have a, uh, if you have a Mega Spirit on the field, 
destroy one opposing spirit ultimate 10 kpp or lower flash during this turn one of your spirits gets plus 3k no one uses that <laughs> like seriously no one uses that <laughs> all right and the last card we have here is yamato or matt with her. also okay this one is evolution shoot so when this card uh when this card is in your trash uh when you summon when you summon a mega or or descends a mega return this card to your hand then uh, you can only use this effect once per turn flash send two calls from your one of your opposing spirit or ultimates to the reserve it's very uh it's very normal but for five calls uh, the fact that you can read it in the sand and then bounce this back is actually pretty good already. Uh, or you can just, you know, summon Metal Garumon and Walk Grimon, bounce this back to your hand, and you are prepared for the next wave of attacks from your opponent. So this whole deck, I can see a lot of synergy going on. This one going with this, and it is going with this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Okay, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm kind of excited to see how this deck plays out. Ouch. So much for don't destroy them. <laughs> the <laughs> irony. <laughs> Destroy it like Leo Mon. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, if you want to see this deck in action, uh, pitted against something else, uh, do subscribe to us for more, uh, as well as subscribe to us for more CVGS stuff, and ring the bell on the side so you can be notified of all of our updates. At the same time, uh, follow us on socials, join us on Discord. You'll see myself, Leon, and Cap, and other other people over there, as well as support us on Patreon if you want to support the show directly. With that said, thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, wait, they're just, they're just fighting each other, I think. <laughs> what is this? Uh.